everybody, it's Paige Evans and I have a new process video to share with you today showing you how to create this teeny tiny heart-shaped mini album. I was asked to make a Valentine's Day themed mini album for the Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine blog. So I will leave a link to it so that you can find this cut file. I cut it from smooth white cardstock and each heart is a little smaller than two inches across. And then I also have a cut file for the inner hearts, which I die cut from a single piece of pattern paper from my Whimsical collection with Pink Paisley. It's got all of those rectangles of different patterns, which is perfect for a project like this where I wanted to use lots of different pattern paper hearts. So I ran that through my Silhouette Cameo and now I am figuring out which pattern paper heart I want on which section. And then I will just use some ad adhesive to attach the hearts in place. And the, I swear, the part that took me the longest was finding the photos. I went through my computer, all of my photo albums, and I found a selfie of me and my husband, Chris. We have been married for 11 years, so I found 11 pictures from every year that we've been married. I used a combination of Picasso and Adobe Photoshop to create the collage. Each picture is about three quarter inches square. And then I printed the pictures at home on my Canon Pro 100 printer. I cut the pictures out and then I'm going to glue them in place. So I'm going to leave one spot for the cover and then adhere them in order from 2008 to 2018. And again, just dabbing a little bit. I'm not adhering them all in the same place. They're kind of going to be a little haphazard so the corners will come off the edges. So I'll use scissors to trim off the excess. The next step is embellishing. And since this album is so teeny tiny, I needed to use teeny tiny embellishments. Again, I'm using my Whimsical collection with Pink Paisley, so I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase it from scrapbook.com. So luckily in this collection, there are a lot of teeny tiny embellishments. So we've got puffy stickers that are tiny, chipboard stickers that are tiny, um, enamel shapes, that are teeny tiny as well as stickers found in the four page sticker book. And the first thing I'm going to do is create the cover. So it's going to say 11 years love and I'm again just using a combination of teeny tiny stickers as well as my colorful mini foam alphabet stickers. 11 years love, I, I kind of want to add in or of I actually tried doing that off camera, but it didn't look so good. So right now the title is just 11 years love. I fussy cut that love word and I wanted to add some machine stitching. So I actually peeled the heart off of the mini album and then ran it through my sewing machine before adhering it in place. Otherwise, if I machine stitched through the whole thing, the stitching would show up on the other side, which wouldn't be that big a deal, but I already had the pattern paper heart in place and yada yada. So I just peeled it off quickly and carefully did the stitching before putting it in place. So the cover is done. Now again moving on to embellishing. So for every year I'm going to use some kind of number sticker. So I used the mini colorful number stickers from the four page sticker book. I used the patterned chipboard thickers couple of times and I also used the foam mini thickers. So I think the foam mini thickers are the things that have the most dimension, but I was still able to fold up this album nicely. It's not too chunky, although I do love a chunky album, so there's no problem with that. But you do kind of want to keep the embellishments pretty flat for a project like this, an accordion style album, or else it won't close very well. Seriously, this album took me like 30 minutes to an hour from start to finish. Once you have the pattern papers in place, once you have the photos in place, it's just a matter of layering on the embellishments. And there's a lot of flowers, there's a lot of leaves and a lot of hearts in this collection. So it was really easy to just plop, plop the things in place and create this colorful, cute mini album documenting our anniversaries. So I'm almost finished with the first half, this first side. Gonna flip it over and continue embellishing on the back side. So 
these pictures technically aren't even on our anniversary. I just kind of tried to find a picture of us throughout the year. So whether it was in January or December, but it's also really fun to see how we've changed, how we've gained weight, lost weight, had children, where we traveled. Point out any one of these pictures and I can tell you where we were, when we were. That left picture, we were in Croatia for anniversary eight. We were in Arcos de la Frontera in Spain. That middle picture, we were at McDonald's for a date. Classy, huh? It was, I, we really love McDonald's though. Um, and then that next picture in Iceland and this last picture from 2018, uh, we were at Cary Park in Seattle. So I, I love scrapbooking. I love documenting memories. So show me a picture and I can almost guarantee you that I can remember exactly where it was taken. So photos are precious. Memories are precious. I love scrapbooking and documenting our memories. Also lots of hearts, adding lots of hearts because it's a lovey-dovey album. Uh, one of those stickers I attached in place with the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher just to make sure it stays in place permanently. Some of these stickers will need extra reinforcement with glue dots or liquid glue or super glue to make sure they stay in place permanently. And my friends, that's it. So now I'm folding it up and let's flip through, see the finished mini album. That was fun to make, quick to make, and I can't wait to give it to my husband. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure to go to the Scrapbooking Cards Today blog to grab these cut files and create a mini album about the ones you love. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.